This problem is intended to guide you through transposing a standard minimization problem into a standard maximization problem, which also means we'll take the given primal problem and determine the dual problem. However, we will not be solving. First, notice how the given minimization problem is standard because the variables are non-negative and all the constraints are in the form of being greater than or equal to a non-negative value. So we first want to form a matrix using the coefficients of these first three constraints and our objective function without using slack variables. So the first inequality will give us the elements or entries of the first row, which again will be the coefficients. So the first row is going to be three, four, two. So three, four, two. The second row will come from the coefficients of the second inequality, which would be four, one, and five. So four, one, five. The third inequality gives us the entries for the third row, which would be five, five, and three. Notice how the first column represents the coefficients of x sub one, the second column represents the coefficients of x sub two. This is important because for the last row, we will use the objective function, but we do want the coefficients of x sub one and x sub two first. So the third row will be 35, 70, and one for the coefficient of c. So again, we have 35, 70, and one. Now we want to transpose this matrix, which we'll then use to form the corresponding maximization problem or dual problem. To transpose this matrix, the rows will become the columns. So row one will become column one, row two will become column two, row three will become column three, and row four will become column four. So the first column will be three, four, two. The second column will be four, one, five. The third column will be five, five, three. And the fourth column will be thirty, five, seventy, one. And now we'll use this transposed matrix to write the dual problem. So here's our transposed matrix. The last row will always give us the objective function and the remaining rows will give us our constraints. Notice how we are told to use the variables y sub one comma y sub two comma y sub three and so on. So this first row represents our first constraint. So we're going to have our objective function and of course our constraints. So again, the first constraint comes from this first row using the y variables first constraint would be three times y sub one plus four times y sub two plus five times y sub three. Now this is a maximization problem, so this will be less than or equal to thirty-five. The second row will give us our second constraint, which should be four y sub one plus one y sub two or just y sub two plus five y sub three is less than or equal to seventy. And our variables must also be non-negative, so we should include the constraints y sub one is greater than or equal to zero, so is y sub two, and so is y sub three. But I think in the homework, you're not asked to enter these last three inequalities. And now this last row gives us our objective function, which would be two y sub one plus five y sub two, plus three y sub three equals, let's say, one p or p, or we normally just write p equals two times y sub one plus five times y sub two plus three times y sub three. So we're going to stop here. This is the corresponding maximization problem, which we call the dual problem. The next step would be to set up the initial tableau. I hope you found this helpful.